Today we are going to experience a short text-based game called Who Stole My Bone? This game was released in April 21st, 2019 by Cryptic Kitty. Let's take a look at what kind of story this is. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there for a second. My name is Spudge. What's yours? Type your name. My name is Katie. You know what? That sounds stupid, so I'm just gonna call you Phil. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, let me tell you what you're here for. See this bone? That's my bone. A really good bone. The best bone in the whole world. Cool. But it went missing. I was looking for it this morning and it disappeared without a trace. How am I supposed to go on living without my precious, delicious bone? Truly a tragedy. <laughs> Oh, look at that face. How you cutie. <laughs> but that's where you come in. You can help your cute, handsome body spudge crack the case. What do you say? I mean, of course I'm gonna help my cute, handsome body spudge find his bone. Sure thing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put on my detective hat. Let's get to work. Here's the crime scene. There's a few things we can do to get to the bottom of this. Look at scene. Interrogate witnesses. Question Spudge. Ah, uh, let's look at the scene. The bone was last seen on my bed last night. There are some cookie crumbs around, but I'm pretty sure I didn't eat any recently. Okay. Got it. Okay, this is the same thing. Let's see. This time, let's interrogate witnesses. Mr. Flafensky was here all morning. I'm sure he's seen something. So, how should we deal with him? Be a good cop, be a bad cop. I'm gonna be the good cop. <laughs> hey! Mr. Flafinski, um, my bone went missing today, and we think you probably saw the criminal. Could you tell us who it is? Mr. Flafinski didn't respond. Bummer. So how should we deal with him? <laughs> I guess my only option is to be a bad cop. <laughs> Listen here, you little... I don't have time for you to be a b So cut the crap. You gonna tell us where you saw or do you want me to your d for you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Spudge, you're being a very bad boy. You cannot treat teddy bears like this. Oh my god. That's not okay! Spudge! Mr. Flavinsky was successfully intimidated! <laughs> He's sweating! <laughs> He's gotta speak now! Great! I guess... I'm not too pleased how we got him to speak! Poor Mr. Flavinsky! <laughs> oh my god! He says that he didn't see who stole the bone, but he did see Pee-wee the cat eat the cookie near my bed. Now why would my buddy Pee-wee eat a cookie near my bed? Hmm. Let's go find Pee-wee. Great idea, you're a genius. It runs in the family. Pee-wee spends most of his time in the kitchen. Here's what we can do. Look at the scene, ask Pum Pum the sock puppet, scream for Pee Wee. I'm gonna look at the scene first. 
Pee-wee usually hides on top of the counter. I can also see Pum-Pum, the sock puppet, hanging out near the fridge. He likes to look at the pin drawings there from time to time. Got it. Pee-wee spends most of his time in the kitchen. Here's what we can do. We're gonna ask Pum-Pum, the sock puppet. Hey, Pum-Pum, do you know where Pee-wee is? He made a mess on my bed and we think he knows where my bone went. He's in the fridge. The fridge? Why is he in there? He's gonna freeze. I don't know. Pee-wee's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I suggest you guys stop looking for trouble. You don't know where that bone's gonna lead you. Oh, was that a warning or a threat? Okay, let's open the fridge. Crack open that bad boy like a cold one. <laughs> Why is the cat in the fridge? The cat looks like it's shivering, poor thing. Hi, Pee-wee, why are you here? I'm just ch ch chilling, stupid. Why are you eating cookies? And you made a mess on my bed. That's illegal. I, I felt hungry and I want to to ruin your day. Why not d do both? Where's the bone? How am I supposed to know about your stinky bone? You pr probably lost it somewhere like you always do. Because you're stupid. You're really stupid, Spudge. You know that. Hey, don't talk to Spudge like that. Don't talk to my friend like that. That's not cool. So... Music. So it's gone for good after all the times we spent together. And now I won't see it again. Just like that. Uh, I don't want to see your ugly crying face. Go d do that somewhere else. Phil, I'm so sorry I wasted your time. I just wanted you to meet my super cool bone. But most importantly, I wanted a new friend. Someone who will help me and be there no matter what. I guess this is where we part now. Huh? Well, I hope you had some fun in this adventure and in watching me so like the little baby that I am. Let's dig a grave for your bone before I leave. That sounds like a good idea. I mean, it will bring closure and... We can experience it together. Really? You'd stick around for my bones funeral for me? You're the sweetest friend I've ever had. Anything for my body, whatever. Anything for my body. <laughs> Okay, I dug a little gravestone in the backyard. It's not much, but it will do. That was fast. You want to do the honors? <laughs> you wear a beautiful bone who will be missed. Bone. It really breaks my heart that you were gone before anyone started to appreciate your glory. 
but you know what? I'm gonna keep smiling and raise my tail high because I know that's what you would have wanted for me. And I have a human who's really nice, so you don't have to worry about me. I just wish... What's that sound? Hey! That's my bone! What are you doing here, f Spuds, buddy, my man! I just found your bone and was about to give it to... Yeah... You better tell me the truth, or I'm gonna stuff you back in that fridge. No, no, Pampan told me to hide your bone last night for a cookie, but I accidentally left those crumbs on your bed, so he tried to freeze me to death, so I wouldn't foil his plan. He told me that if I wanted to redeem myself, I had to throw away the bone for good. Please, don't tell him. I will do anything. Bum bum. You finally figured it out. You do have some brains in you after all. You planned all this? But why? Why did you steal my bone? I despise you, Spudge. You think life is full of nice, pretty things. You think that you're better and more important than all of us simply because you have the player by your side. I want you to suffer, Spots, to taste the same pain I felt as I was constantly abandoned and lonely being the secondary character that I was. But from now on, this pathetic little text game we are in will be about me. I will be the main character. I will be the player's friend. I will have all the attention you have hoarded. <laughs> I... I don't know how to react to this. I defeat Pam Pam with kindness. Show Pam Pam no mercy. I'm gonna defeat him with kindness. Listen, Pam Pam. I get that you hate me and don't want to be alone anymore. But you don't have to do this. We can just talk and have a fun little party for friendship. Everyone will be there, and we will all be best buds in no time. You get friends through kindness, not violence and hate. Couldn't have said it better. So, what do you say? Wanna hug it out and start over with a clean slate? You died a fool, Spudge. A happy little fool. <gasps> oh my god. Well, that just happened. Damn. <laughs> That was Who Stole My Bone by Cryptic Kitty. Thank you for choosing to watch this video. If you enjoyed this experience, please leave a like because it helps this channel to grow and reach more people. If you wish to support the developer of this game, check out the links I've added in the description texts below this video.